Okay. Ooh, Aranil just took a bolt to the face. He is a high elf, so he is weak to Magicka. Okay, we've got him on the run. He is aggroing Aranil. Aranil is dead. Oh my god, okay. All right, our, our whole party's dead. We have just started the fight, and everybody's dead. Well, here we go again. Time to do something stupid. <laughs> Irredeemably so. Hey, but what else is new? Let's go ahead and uh, click new. And we're going to take it all the way from the top because, well, there is a lot of theory craft, all right? A lot of planning, a lot of thoughts that I have put into this. So let's see if it pans out because I think we can do this. And I think we can make it harder than it ever possibly should have been. So to start here, talking to old Jub, you know 95% of a character's power comes from the name. And if we are trying to beat Morrowind's most difficult DLC dungeon, the Siege at Fort Firemoth, well, then we obviously have to pick something amazing, incredible, and full of vigor and power because, God damn it, we are going to need it. And I'll go with Frank the Tank, baby, because that is going to be the theme of the day. And like I mentioned with some of that theory craft, we are going to get into a lot of that here in just a second because I have a lot of thoughts to walk us through. So, old Frankie boy here, coming to life at the bottom of a derelict ship. And well, well, well we're gonna see how this goes. First of all, though, we just have to get past this beautifully chiseled man. Oh, look at there, he's even done his eyelashes. <laughs> I've, I've never noticed that. What a chic individual. Uh, that's that uh, that Imperial City fashion. I mean, the guy's got, the guy's got fur boots on. He's wearing Uggs. <laughs> Those actually are Uggs. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> oh God, this is gonna go downhill fast. This is what happens when I stay up till one in the morning theory crafting a freaking Morrowind challenge run. You get unhinged coffee, okay? So buckle up today. It's gonna be a long one. But like I said, we're trying to beat Morrowind's most difficult DLC dungeon. And why is it the most difficult DLC dungeon? Well, not only is Fort Firemoth home to hundreds of freaking skeletons, hundreds of rats. In fact, it is probably the most densely populated area in the entire game. What you will see when we get over there is a sea of the brittlest warriors you have ever laid your eyes on. But that is not, believe it or not, what makes it the most difficult dungeon. It is the hardest because of the horror of the lich that lives at the bottom of the fort. So we have to prepare for immense land combat and a magical onslaught that would level pretty much any character who isn't built properly. So in order to put ourselves on the path to success, I'm gonna start by picking a Nord character. Now, why am I going to pick the lead singer of every folk metal band from Europe as our starting character? Well, that is because our skills over here, you can see that we start with a boost to spear. And believe it or not, that's actually the only relevant skill on here because I am not only going to do this challenge run at level one, I'm also going to do this challenge run by only allowing myself to buy one item. Because like I said, when I was theorycrafting last night, I, th I think we can do this. And that one item will be a spear in the town of Balmora. So we're not even gonna go and get some incredibly late game loot. We're not gonna do anything freaky. This is gonna be bare bones using only what we have here, showing the power of character building here in Marwind. So like I said, pick the Nord for that five boost to spear and also their specials. You can see a Nord is immune to frost, 50% resistant to shock, which is going to be huge against the Lich at the bottom of the dungeon, but also the companions that travel with us because one of our companions on this quest is going to have a shock spell that with its AOE could very easily kill us. Arnel, 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 Arnel. Hey, we're not even in the room yet. Another reason I'm taking the Nord is because of their woad ability here. Shield for 30 points for 60 seconds, giving us an immediate boost to our armor rating, which could definitely be the difference between life and death during any of our battles. And then they also have Thunder Fist frost damage for 25 points for one second on touch. Now I'll save some of the other reasons we're going for a Nord for just a couple minutes here. So now we'll go ahead, advance out of character creation, and start building a custom class because this is gonna be a little interesting and not what folks are typically used to. So now at our character creation screen, I am of course gonna take create a custom class. 
And once we are here at this screen, well, of course, you got to pick a good name. So I'm going to go with Fort Buster because, again, that is the only thing that we are going for here. Remember, we're not we're only allowed to buy one single thing. So we have to build our character in a way that allows us to leverage the inbuilt systems of Morrowind to their maximum abilities. And in order to do that, well, first I'm gonna leave my specialization as combat. What this will do is give us a boost to all of the skills that you see here. Two things I will be picking and utilizing during this it will be both spear and athletics. Boosting our spear stat is of course going to make it easy for us to land our hits. And it's going to be incredibly crucial when we're doing this at level one. Additionally, having a boost our athletics is gonna make us a little bit more nimble, quick, efficient with our fatigue use and therefore allow us to stay evasive, which is going to be very important here. Again, we're doing this at level one. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is actually leave my favorite attributes as strength and agility. Now, what leaving these as our favorite attributes does at the beginning of the game is actually give them a plus 10 boost outside of character creation. Now, strength is going to be very, very crucial when we're trying this challenge here because strength is going to scale our martial weapon damage. And of course, we are taking a spear, so we want as much damage as possible. Now, agility there, agility is going to play into our hit chance formula. So we want our agility again as high as possible because we need time on our side. And you know, if you've played any amount of Morrowind that if you have a low agility or low fatigue, you're going to be missing a lot of hits and missing a lot of hits means a lot of time spent in combat. And when you have a low health, no armor, well, you want to be as efficient at landing your hits as possible. Now, the next thing you need to know about Morrowind when we're doing this build is that when you select major skills for magic, yes, Magic. I know Fr Frank the Tank doesn't sound like a very magical guy. You know, Fort Bustin, you're not thinking of freaking wizards up in their damn silver towers, throwing out freaking tarot cards. Like Merlin is not going to be breaking down the walls and storming the fortress with magic alone. Okay. He's a wiry kind of guy. He's going to sit there, read a couple books, fiddle with a couple spells and light some people on fire at the end of the day. All right. All right. I, I, need, to I need to tone it down. Okay. All my other mage characters, they're going to be very upset. Larry. I'm sorry, but back to the topic at hand, picking a major skill for a certain school will give you a certain spell. So we want to strategically pick our major skills here in order to get the spells that we want to theory craft and hopefully be able to beat this incredibly hard dungeon at level one with no equipment. So to start here for our major skills, first, I'm going to do something pretty self-explanatory and take spear. Moving on from that, we're going to go straight into selecting our magic schools. So first, I'm going to take Restoration. Selecting Restoration here will give us access to the ability Hearth Heal at the beginning of the game. Since we're not going to be buying any items out there, we are going to be fully dependent on our Magicka. So having Hearth Heal is going to be imperative. Next, we will be taking Destruction. Destruction is going to be important because it gives us Firebite. Remember how I said that this island is going to be swarming with skeletons? Well, all undead and Morrowind are weak to the element Fire. So having a fire spell is going to give us a lot of leeway if we run into any issues with doing damage with our spears. Next, we are going to take Conjuration. Taking Conjuration as a major skill will give us the Ancestral Ghost spell. What this will do is give us a repeatable ally to summon if the rest of our party dies, leaving us alone with the Lich at the bottom of the freaking dungeon. You're being alone with a Lich at level one with no items. Well, you let me know how you think that's gonna go. Now, moving down then again, the last thing we'll do is take security. Well, remember how I said we're only gonna buy one item? Well, I actually lied. I, when I said one item, I really meant one piece of equipment because some of the doors in this dungeon are locked. So of course, we're gonna have to get through them. So I will allow us to buy a lock pick. This security skill is just to make sure that that one lock pick lasts the whole time. Now, moving on to minor skills, I am going to take just some support items. So acrobatics, I will take athletics, and then finally, I will take unarmored because I do want to have a little bit of armor rating potentially on my character, even though I'm not going to be wearing any equipment at all. After this, I'm going to be taking speechcraft and mercantile simply to get the most money possible when I am selling the limeware platter. Although, to be honest, those are throwaways. 
<laughs> in my mind, I, I don't think they're really going to help us much. Moving on to the birth sign, surprisingly again, I am going to take the Atronach. And the theory behind this is that the 50% spell absorption there could definitely be the difference between life and death of getting killed by, again, our followers are going to be throwing freaking spells all over the place. Or, of course, getting blasted in the face by a Lich Ball. And then, of course, having that Fortify Maximum Magicka doubling our Magicka pool because we're going to have a low intelligence from being ignored and didn't take any kind of real Magicka specialization there. Well, this is going to allow us to actually cast our spells more than one time. So here we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, Frank the Tank, the Nord Fortbuster born under the sign of the Atronach, with a strength of 60, an endurance of 50, a spear of 40, and a smattering of completely random asinine skills that only will work for this build in this context. Are you excited to see what happens? I know I am. Let's get into it. So here we go. Let's grab our release identification. For the release by Emperor Uriel Sept in the seventh degree, Frank the Tank, the Nord Fort Buster, who is surely going to die. What an idiot. They looked at my job specialization. <laughs> they were like, yeah, kick this guy off the boat. Based on his build, yeah, he's not going to add anything to Imperial society. No, no, no. Just leave him with the Dunmer. Uh, but here we go. Doing the old limeware platter trick, of course, pulling it off the shelf, throwing it on the ground. Guards forget all about it, allowing us to steal it here from the opening area. Now, again, I... I don't really need any gold in the normal crazy start to a Marwind run. You'd steal everything off these shelves. You'd make like a bandit. Now, I, well, I will take the Apprentice's lockpick here, but we're also going to buy a Master's lockpick later on again just to make sure that we can actually do the dungeon. But we're not really going to spend any gold, so we, we actually don't really need to steal anything or take anything except the bare minimum. Your papers, please. My papers, please. Oh, Mr. Celis Gravius. Funny enough, he is the quest giver for Fort Firemoth. So let's go Morrowind, duties, advance the main quest just enough to let us out of the room. And we will actually leave and head to Balmora. And then we will come back and ask him about Firemoth. But first, like I said, we need to go and buy our one singular item. <laughs> now, like I said, I, I haven't done this before. I was I up all night thinking about it? Yes, I was. Does that mean it will work? Where would you no, go? not at all. <laughs> so let's head to Belmora and see just how far this lunatic idea can be taken. Because usually in Morrowind, as I have learned of my friggin' 100 something videos on the channel about this game, is that usually if an idea is just crazy enough to where it sounds like it will work, well, it just may. Now, the one item that we are going to leverage for this run, we will find here at Revere the Trader. And I think if you're a Marwin fan already, you can probably guess what it is going to be. But Revere, I've arrived. I will barter. You will buy my limeware platter. What you're going to do with it, I don't really know. Hopefully you got a family waiting at home, a little kitty cat. You know, lay him out a nice dinner on your buddy's old limeware platter here that you traded for a devil spear. Oh yes, the devil spear with a lightning shield. One to 10 points for 10 seconds on self and a bound spear for 60 seconds on self. Now, before we leave, we're actually gonna empty out the rest of our inventory just to stay true to the freaking quest here. All right, look at that. We got the nice bloomers on, looking good, Speedo, Michael Phelps style. But let's go ahead and grab the Devil Spear here. We'll actually be able to leave 74 freaking gold richer. And, well, that may just be enough to buy a singular lockpick over here. But believe it or not, my fellow Morrowind friends, this Devil Spear is actually going to serve two purposes. Again, remember the enchantment over there. It has a lightning shield and it has a bound spear. Now, for those of you who don't know, the bound weapons in Morrowind actually have the same stats as their Daedric equivalent. So the Devil Spear here, when summoned, will give us access to that incredibly tasty 6 to 40 damage range from the thrust attack of the Daedric Spear. And yes, I'll take 
20,000 gold of value for just a couple hundred to the old cat over there. But on top of that, again, remember how I mentioned there's going to be a lot of shock damage flying around from our elven friend and from the lich themselves? Well, the lightning shield will help mitigate that. So hopefully with the lightning shield on top of the Nord's innate resistance to shock and the spell absorption from the Atronach, well, we may just live. I don't know. We'll find out. But before then, we have to talk to Nileno Dorvain, and we will be buying again that lockpick that I mentioned, the master's lockpick here. This is going to give us the highest chance of getting through those locked doors that we saw without failing the quest. So like that, we're already done. There is nothing else to buy. There is no more gold to exchange hands. This is everything. Okay, this is it. This is... What the hell? Did... Did you just see my hands? What they were those Dunmer hands? What just happened? What? I, I need an instant replay on that. Were those Dunmer hands? What in God's name is in this freaking mug? I, whatever it is, I just got it on myself. That's uh that's surely a good sign, isn't it? <laughs> right, the game. The game's freaked out. The game doesn't even want us to do this. Maybe I should have played a Dunmer. Maybe I'm going at this all wrong. That's Todd's sign to me. A hundred videos. A hundred videos. I mean, this is what you do to me. You speak to me in riddles. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't blame you. Well, like I mentioned with, you know, the, the magic that we just performed, I think that's enough to get us in the Mages Guild. So let's go ahead. Join the Mages Guild. Yes. And like I said, this is just going to be in order to get the 10 Restore Magicka Potions because this is going to be the only way that we can restore our Magicka from the Atronach. Now, for the, the soul of the build, I am going to try and use as little of these as possible, but I am holding them for a backup. Actually saying that out loud, well, we actually just acquired a side quest, and that's do this run without using any potions at all. So let's we'll see if we can complete the side quest. W what am I going to get if I complete it? I, I, I don't know. You tell me. I, leave me something cool in the comments, I guess. I don't know. But <laughs> likewise, we're going to get the same side quest from the Fighters Guild. Sign me up. I'm not going to read that stupid charter. And, well, we're going to do the exact same thing. Come down here, loot the Fighters Guild chest, except this time we'll be grabbing some cheap restore health potions, some restore fatigue potions, and some standard restore health potions that I just glitched into my inventory. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, well, well, we're done. That's it. Frank the Tank is ready to take on Fort Firemoth, the siege at Fort Firemoth, and face one of Morrowind's deadliest enemies. What this will mean for Frank and for my sanity, I, I have yet to find out. So let's go ahead. Talk to Selville, Saraloth, head back to Sedanine, and start our quest. You are a fool to walk around like that. Hey, whoa, whoa, hey, hey calling me a fool for walking around like that. This is Nordic culture. You are simply unaware, okay? You need to go go to freaking, uh, take some manners courses, all right? It's, it's rude to point that out. Uh, actually, on second thought, some, something about that, uh, something about Marwin tells me those classes don't exist here. Someone um, with your good well. looks needs more. Wait, did he just say someone with your good looks needs more closing? Hold on a second. Okay, he gets it. All right, he knows a true athlete when you see him, okay? Frank the Tank with our bulbous meaty forearms you know we're <laughs> we're clearly cut out for the imperial guard that's all i'm saying oh you're naked <laughs> <laughs> maybe i should have waited to uh shuck down <laughs> until until we got over to the fort but uh regardless this is believe it or not our quest giver so we've come back to satanine we will ask celis gradius about fort firemoth this imperial fort offshore to the west was captured years ago by the undead horde of Grurun, who literally marched out of the sea and overran the garrison there. The survivors were forced to leave behind the ward of Akavir, and I'm looking for someone to lead a group to retrieve it. Are you up for the task? I can lead this group, Celis Gravius. Show me the way, and don't make me put on any damn clothes because I'm a Nord, and a Nord is one with the earth, the the sea, the uh, the tree of life. I I, I don't know. I was <laughs> I was trying to make some Nord myth references there, but I'm gonna ignore that. And instead, we will speak to Silmdar and head over to Fort Firemoth. And oh, hey, look at that! There's our companions. We got a paintbrush, a Renaissance artist and a medieval cosplayer. 
but a fellow Nord. Hey, a son of Talos, why the hell are you wearing clothes? He gets an F on being a Nord, and we haven't even fought yet. That's a bad sign. But Sildar, take me to Faramoth. All right, here we are. We got frickin' Shrondir, Aranil the paintbrush, and Mara the, what did I, what did I call her back then? Uh, the, the starving Renaissance artist, something like that. I'm, my money's on Frondir dying first, but that's just because he has failed as a Nord. And, oh, shit! Oh, guys, dude, you gotta give me some warning! What the hell, Aranel? You just blasted him like freaking Jimmy Neutron! What do you got in there, ray gun? Come on, man, you, you gotta calm down! Okay, here we go. Alright, well, I'm already at ha half health, and... Uh, okay, well... What just, what just attacked me? Alright, here we go. Our, our, my crew immediately abandoned me. That's a good start. Uh, come on. Okay. Good work, paintbrush. All right, good work. One one wave down. We're already very, very low on health. All right, let's try and grab a hearth heal. And then, then we're gonna, now we're going to run out and try and kill the archers. Uh, oh, looks like they actually died right there with uh, paintbrush soul shock. Oh, actually, nope. The archers didn't even engage. Okay, look at that. Well, let's go ahead and make our way up here. Try and dodge what we can, which is not a lot. Ooh, we had to live through that. Thankfully, we did. Ooh, there we go. Okay, got him down. And luckily, we absorbed the freaking shock ball from Aranil, who's just a literal walking problem. <laughs> but we did get a little Magicka back. So, actually, let's... Uh... Oh. Oh, I I forgot my freaking hotkeys and accidentally healed. Well, we can't have that. All right, we're going to load a quick save. No, I'm not failing the side quest, okay? If I have a chance at it, I I'm not going to fail the side quest yet. All right, if it gets too infuriating, I will, but... Oh, hey, good work. Oh, thank you, paintbrush. Okay, let's grab a rest. And now I believe... Yep, I do see some archers still out there. So let's uh, let's not forget our hotkeys this time. All right, here we go. Now we just got to... Uh, we'll let Mara lead the way. Block some arrows. Block some arrows. She did, funny enough, block one. Oh, and Aranel. Okay, Aranel with the damn... With the AoE attack. He's got the range on him. Okay, let's go up here. Let's try and sneak down. Okay, one shot. Two shot. Okay, things are looking up. Things are looking up. There are enemies nearby. That could mean anything. We do just want to heal as much as possible without using the magic, because Magicka, again, is a finite source for us. The only way we're going to get it is by either failing the side quest and drinking the frickin' potions, or by absorbing a spell from RNL or somebody else. Let's get in nice and close here. Okay, one shot. There we go. That's the Nordic way. Another one shot. We're already at half health. RNL got one. RNL got two. Oh my god, it almost killed us. Okay, yeah. If we didn't ever resist shock right there, that, see, that would have been game over. This is why you have to build a Nord. Because you are not only fighting the enemies, you are also fighting your freaking companions. You gotta be more careful, man. God, let's try and do another heal here. Back up a little bit. Okay, it's just like a, it's just like a short rest in D&D, &D, all right? Come on, I'm taking my hit dice. All right, let's see what's over here. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Well, uh, a direct hit from RNL. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. Uh, where was Hearth Heal? Let's get Hearth Heal. No, oh, we got. Look at this Morrowind AI. Oh, my God. They don't even care. Okay. Luckily, we got Hearth Heal down. Ooh, and two one shots, three one shots, four one shots in a row. Oh, there's that Nordic strength and agility coming into play. Oh, my God. And another hit from Arnold. This guy is like, yeah, this guy's an actual problem. <laughs> okay. This shouldn't even be called Siege at Fort Firemouth. This should be surviving Arnold. I think, I think that's literally where we're at. <laughs> oh, and here we go with the next wave. We got the Pirates of the Caribbean skeletons here. Okay. Oh, no, no, the archers. The archers knocked us down. Oh, God, no. <laughs> All right, let's chalk another one up. Let's try this again. Okay, quick save. All right, round two, round two. Get the bound spear on. We need to not let the archers take us out. We need to stay out of range or at least move enough that the archers can't hit us. Into the water, men. Push them back. I, I need you to attack, <laughs> please. Okay, Aranil did some damage there, but luckily everybody's still alive, believe it or not. 
Okay, that agility paying off. The athletics paying off. Let's attack some more. Ooh, holy crap. Almost... Almost dead on that one. Oh, God. Thank God Aranil rolled low on that damage. That would have been... That would have been the end for sure. Let's get the hearth heal back. Ooh, Barbosa, you're a very valiant fighter. <laughs> okay. Hold on a second. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh! Oh, we lost the Frenchman! Mara, no! No! I'm honestly surprised you made it this long, actually. That's okay. Holy... Wait, wait, what? We don't even have time to mourn! This is Welcome to the Meat Grinder of Fort Firemoth. Oh, let's back up, back up. One more. Okay, there we go. One shot. And holy crap, another greeting party. Team has abandoned me. Back, devil's back. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Heart heal, heart heal. Come on. No, oh, they abandoned me again. You guys are no help. Uh, oh, God. I think we got one more guy left. Oh, God, no. No. We had one person left in the raid. God, if this if this is how it is, oh my god, this boss is gonna be this boss is gonna be awesome. Oh, we gotta do this again? Okay, alright. Two hours later. Oh, good kill, Rondir, good heal. Ow. Oh! And oh no, Mara died again! <laughs> I think she's just destined for death. Not a not a real fighter type, I take it. Not a real fighter type. All right, the bridge across. Well, you know what? I'm feeling good about this one. I'm feeling very good about this one. This is the one, actually. This is it. This is it. Good RNG. RNG bless us. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. RNG's not blessing us. All right, we need the hearth heal to pop here. Oh, God, we're getting very low. Actually, we're out of Magicka. I don't even have enough mana to summon the ancestral. Oh, God, okay. Well, there are enemies nearby. Because my other thought was uh, with the ancestral ghost... We would be able to summon it. Oh my gosh, who's nearby? Is it that guy up there? Hold on, let's take back. Let's walk back. All right, one rest later. And uh, a couple hours later, as you see, night has fallen. J just like my <laughs> my belief in this build, <laughs> as we are. We are not looking very strong against the army of skeletons, and things are only going to get worse. Oh, hey, but there was our spell proc. Hold on, that took us back to half. That took us back to half. Okay, we did- we got some Magicka back. This- this is our- this is our path back in. Okay, this is our path back in. Alright, now- now here's what's gonna happen. Okay, here's what's gonna happen. Here's a little Morrowind magic for the people who don't know. Oh, we still have a Skeletal Archer up here. Okay, let's uh, let's take care of him first. Get my spear out. Oh my god, hopefully not die. Okay, guys, I need- I need you to- I need you to man up. You- you gotta do this, I have- I have two health! Take him out! Okay. Alright, for the first time, Arunil, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with you. You didn't actually kill me that time. Now, now we may die to the Ancestor Ghost. We're, we're gonna see what happens, okay? We're gonna see what happens. But here's a little Morrowind magic for you. If you have the Sign of the Atronach, again, you have Spell Absorption, what you can do is summon your Ancestor Ghost, attack them, then you can regen your magic off their procs, and then you don't actually have to use magical potions. So, what we're gonna try here is doing just that. So let's summon the ghost. Now let's hit him a couple times to get him aggroed. Oh, but it aggroes my other companions. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute, what? I got, I got my magic of proc though. <laughs> okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. What, I have another, I have another strat. I have another strat too. Let's heal, all right. Let's kill these skeletons. It's not all is lost. Not all is lost. We have to clear out this entire level, though. Because we can wait and de-aggro our companions because they're in a different cell. I can't remember if they have to be calmed or not, but we're going to test. But we, we are we are reaching deep. Deep in the Morrowind knowledge base now. This is literally all the strats. Okay. Can I rest? No. It, did you just spawn? Where did you come from? Hold on. You know what's funny? I think I'm actually having an easier time fighting our guys here because we don't have our freaking <laughs> we don't have our freaking wizard just throwing spells everywhere all right let's get a rest so that we can then do our ancestor ghosting i have no idea why it still thinks there are enemies nearby 
Is the guy up the stairs? All right, let's go outside. Are they still aggroed? Oh, oh my god, it sure, sure sounds like they're still aggroed. Are they down there? Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they're still aggroed, all right. Yeah, they're, okay, well, there's that. Oh! You know what? We're just gonna roll with it. We're just we're just gonna roll with it. I I can't fully explain that. That, that is the that is outside my Marwin knowledge. <laughs> but they're they're de-aggroed. Okay, well, um the the side quest removed. Okay. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna try it with them. We'll keep them around for now. Uh let me go back this way, because I I'm I wanna go down. I wanna go down in the fort. I, I can't fully explain that. But ladies and gentlemen, they're they're back fine for us. Look at them go. Okay. Aranil seems to have forgotten how to use spells though. That's a blessing and a curse, I think. God damn it, use some AoE on these guys. Oh, I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Go, go, go. We're at 64. We're at 51. Okay, we got it off. Now, another amazing thing that folks you'll see here is that when you are using a spear, and you have a character like ours right now who's really, really fast and evasive because we have nothing in our pockets. Our encumbrance is so low, we can actually keep people out of range even though that they can't attack us. So again, you, you put all these freaking little Morrowind tidbits together, it makes for some incredible things. So let's again save and head down into the guard quarters. Ooh, oh, our item doesn't have enough charge. No, we're getting stuck. We're in the mosh pit. Normally, I'd like that. Normally, I would be all about that. Let's uh, let's step over here and get a heal again. Hop back in. Actually, what we're going to do, another Morrowind tidbit, items regain charge passively. So what we're going to do here is we're going to wait a couple days. We should be back at full item charge. So let's pull our item up. And yep, you can see there, Devil's Spear, charge 70. So there we go. Devil's Spear, back to full charge. We got our fatigue back. Things are looking up. Let's continue down into Fort Firemoth. Hey, look at this guy. He's sitting over here. Got a nice Imperial still helmet. Did you, uh, did you kill that man or, or is that him? I don't really know. You know, why why does everybody just like turn to skeletons? I guess, how many years has it been since Firemoth is here? They would, I mean, all those bodies would have to be fully decayed. I mean, hundreds of years. But we'll let the history books keep their secrets. All right then, keep your secrets. Because here we are now at the wooden door to the Firemoth dungeon with a lock level of 50. This should work. There we go. The power of a master's lockpick. And well, <laughs> there goes the usefulness of that item, okay? So, <laughs> still sending one item, you know, the only real one piece of equipment that actually does anything to make this easier. But what do I know? Okay, what do I, you know what? We're gonna try the next door with the apprentice lockpick. We'll see if it'll work. Again, this was all theory craft. I don't, I don't know if it will or not, but, oh God, now we have a, swarm of freaking rats and some more magicka absorption oh god i gotta get away are the rats gonna take me down no the rats the freaking the we we fought a thousand skeletons <laughs> oh god i died to a freaking swarm of rats oh my god all right my D, &D group's gonna love this they've been familiar with a swarm of rats i'll i'll let them know to up that freaking challenge rating god damn it <laughs> the freaking rats all right, well, guard quarters again. Let's do it. Whoop, ba -doop, ba -doo, stab, okay, yep. Oh, spell absorption, that's great. Hey, is this helmet, is that yours? Why is everybody dead in here? What's going on? How many years has it been? Yep, oh, history can keep the secrets to itself. Let's put the lockpick on, all right? Grab the lockpick, pick the lock. And dungeon with the rats again. <laughs> okay, okay, this is... Why am I not one-shotting rats with a freaking Daedric spear? Oh, good, good work, elf. Good work. You, you, sir, paintbrush head, you deserve a promotion. Look at this man. I will promote Aranil from paintbrush to dungeon sweep because he, he I mean, he's good at it. You gotta, you gotta let your employees play to their strengths. That's all I'm saying. Aranil, the... God damn it. I just gave you a freaking promotion. It's coming back. I, I you know, I, I guess he was just so excited he couldn't contain himself. Ar Arin Arinel. 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 Buddy. 
guy, okay? Hey, we're not even in the room yet. We're not even in the room yet and you're hitting me. Dungeon sweep. Dungeon sweep. That is all this man is good for, apparently. <laughs> all right, take a billion. Rats, 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 yes. God, they do so much damage because I have no armor. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get out of the blast zone. I gotta heal, I gotta heal. Arnold's a loose cannon, I don't trust him. I don't trust him anymore. Okay, okay, we did it. Dungeon sweep. All right, that's, that's all you're good for. All right, now just for the sake of the build, let's see if I could even do it without the master's lockpick. So we're gonna apprentice lockpick, sit. It's probably too complex, but we'll try. Come on now. Oh, we did it. You can really do this attempt with only one item. Okay, you don't even need the master's lockpick. Look at that. I overcrafted the theory, all right? Overcrafted it. But here we are now. The wooden door to Fire Moth Mine. Being a fan of Lord of the Rings, I'm sure that this, this is gonna be great. Just gonna be fun. All right, mines always work out. Abandoned mines, nothing bad ever happens in those things. Okay, here we go. Into the mines of Fire Moth. The great dwarven stronghold. Uh, Imperial stronghold. I wonder if they're any cooler. So far, it's actually pretty quiet here. Damn, it is like a Lord of the Rings mine. You know, no one's here, and then all of a sudden, a freaking cave troll comes out of nowhere. So where are you, cave troll? Where are you, cave troll? I know you're here. Oh, okay. Well, we'll, we'll call this a goblin equivalent. Let's like, fight these guys. All right, actually, off to a pretty good start there. I'll take that. Uh, now to the lower cavern. We're delving deeper into the mines. Gird thy loins, for this can only get worse. Another one, one shot, two shot, there we go. Okay, okay. All right, our Nords, Frank the Tank's, Frank the Tank's doing good now. Another one down, one more. Another one down, just keep it pushing. Oh. Skeletal triplets. Spear up. Did did Arnil die? Did we lose Arnil? Did he stay in the dungeon? Okay, no there. Yo, come on. Dungeon sweep. There you are. Come on, buddy. I may give you some crap, Arnil, but yeah, you're alright. You're an okay guy. You've only killed us like ten times. It's fine. I'm not mad. <clears throat> dungeon sweep. Alright, finally. Ladies and gentlemen, we have arrived. We have reached the crescendo of Fire Moth. We have traveled across the beaches, fought hordes of skeletons, braved our way across the bridge of terror, entered the fort, and conquered every undead Imperial within. And that leaves only the dastardly Lich, Grurn, between us and completing not only our challenge, but our side quests as well. Are you ready, men? Krondir, you've done better than I expected, I must admit. Your armor, although it betrays your Nordic heritage, has served you well in your defense of me. Aranil, dungeon sweep, professional dungeon sweep. You still look like a paintbrush, and you have also done well protecting me. But I will not say equally well, because you've also killed me friggin' 20 times. But regardless, there is no more time to dilly-dally. We will take a quick save. We will grab a heal. And now we will try and fight one of Morrowind's hardest enemies at level one with only buying one item. Let's see how it goes. Gentlemen, this is our finest hour. Sobbing guard. Okay, here we go. Trying to take out, we're gonna play this World of Warcraft style. Aranil has already hurt us. We are five seconds into the fight and Aranil has taken out our health. Oh, there's Grun. He's throwing his spells now. Okay. Oh, Aranil just took a bolt to the face. He is a high elf, so he is weak to magicka. There is no way that Aranil survives a lot of that. Okay, we've got him on the run. He is aggroing Aranil. Aranil is dead. 
Oh my god, okay. Alright, our, our whole party's dead. We have just started the fight and everybody's dead. Oh! But look at this pathfinding. Oh, I don't think it will last for long, but let's... Let's get a couple hits in. Oh! Oh. Oh. Okay, oh. Uh. Copy, copy, copy. <clears throat> copy, buddy. Alright, buddy, copy. You told him that the, the spear... Gives them a longer reach, okay. Why didn't you use it? I I have no explanation for myself. I really don't. All right, gentlemen, that was a good first attempt. Rondier, you did great. Arnil, not so much. Let's try it again. Come on. Back at it. Trash mobs first. Treat it like a wild raid, boys. You gotta take out the trash before you can take out the boss. Okay, good, good aggro. Good work, Arnil. Arnil just took out pretty much everybody. And again, he's aggroed on RNL. Okay, okay, we're getting him. We're pushing him back. Oh, no! Rondier's dead. Rondier's dead, but we've got him in a corner. Okay, ooh, okay, we're switching. We're switching to Mortal Kombat. We're getting up nice and close and personal. All right, so what we're going to do now... I. Uh, if, as long as he's out of Magicka, I think we can juggle him. The only problem is he has a constant 10-point restore health enchantment. Oh, God, he does so much damage. And I'm already out of Magicka again. Damn it. Can I live on the edge? I'm going to try it. Can I juggle him? Can I juggle him from two health down? All right, this is going to take some concentration. Stay away. No! Oh, we stuck on the pathfinding again. Can we find a sweet spot? Can we find a sweet spot? Oh, oh, we've done it. We're staggering. I can see him. I can see his model shifting slightly. Okay, we're whittling him down. Believe it or not, he's staying stuck. He's staying stuck. We have him about a quarter of the way. Okay, we're doing it. We have him at half health. We have him at half health. Oh, this is a possibility. Oh, we're getting there. All right, if I get him to a quarter health, if I get him to a quarter, I'm going to take this out on the road. We're, we're not going to let this count as an exploit. We're going to prove that you can use the tech to beat him straight up. Okay, we've got him at a quarter. We've got him at a quarter. Let's finish it like let's finish it like a true warrior. He has to have a chance after all. We've got him to a quarter health. He just randomly got stuck on the terrain. All right, and then another thing that I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to walk because this is a piece of the tech that I forgot to mention. So because we're so fast, and the spear has such a long reach, we should be able to actually backpedal as long as we can keep him staggered. And that, that way we're not burning fatigue running and we can just hold him. We can just juggle him like we're doing right now. Look at this. I'm not even running. This is why builds matter in Mario and people. This is why I make the videos. Look at this. Juggling him. Level one. We're not running. No Sujama. Oh, and he got stuck again. He got stuck. I gotta. I'm gonna give him a chance. We are one shot away from freaking death, but we are almost there. Oh, we're almost there. Come on, Devil Spear. Don't let me down. We are. Oh God, he's probably got 10% left. We can't start missing. He'll just regen. Oh my God, it's close. Come on, just what? Two more hits. We can do it. Come on. I can beat Fort Fire Moth at level one. No item still leveling. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Oh my god. And like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have freaking done it. We have beat Marwan of Marwan's hardest dungeons, most infuriating freaking rage-inducing mob-filled freaking dungeons at level one with no armor, no items, purely using our freaking knowledge of the game and, well, a Daedric Spear from Revere. But hey, you can buy it in Balmora. I am so, oh my god, this is, this is killer, okay. I am so happy. I am so glad that the freaking theory 
that I was crafting last night actually paid off. I was so worried that we would get to Grun and not be able to do enough damage to actually kill him. That's why I think we need the Daedric Spear. I do think that if you tried this with just a base level item, I think he would regen too fast to, to kill him without it, you know, just taking an hour or something. And I think we just proved there that with the tech, using our reach, using our speed, using the attributes, the resist shock, all of those things, I think we just proved that we can do it anyways at level one with this freaking build. This is freaking incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, the Siege of Fort Firemoth, level one, one item, and guess what, people? We also completed both side quests. We used no potions. We got the loot at the beginning and we didn't even freaking use it. What is that? Plus 100 XP? Okay, come on. <laughs> and then not only do we get to complete our side quests and feel amazing about ourselves, we also get, ladies and gentlemen, the Ward of Akavir. Armor rating 16 with a weight of 10 and a value of 5,000 with a fortify luck constant effect enchantment giving you the same feeling of being Gaynor. The item is actually broken. We actually broke the item during the fight. That's why he put it away. That's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We freaking did it. I mean, all that's left now is to turn the quest in. All that's left now is to return the quest in. Let's head back to the boat. Ladies and gentlemen, we've made it back. Frank the Tank ready to go back to Sedanine a victor. Sildar, we are a couple members lighter, but who cares? Let's talk to South Scrabius. All right, here we are. All you freaking losers shaming me for being naked. Don't you see the power, all right, of Nordic flesh? You cannot keep me down, my Nordic blood boils, and a thousand degrees radiates off me. You know, that makes it hard. I don't know. Okay, I want being naked. That's all I'm trying to say. But tell us, Gravius. We're here to turn in our quest. The Ward of Akavir, you have found it. After these many years, at last, this ancient emblem of the Legion's honor is restored. Here is your award of 3,000 gold, with my thanks. And your valor shall be noted in my dispatches to the Imperial City. Safe travels, my friend. 3,000 gold has been added to your inventory. And look at him there, showing off his nice new Imperial artifact. Oh yeah, he wasn't kidding, look at that. Got the freaking dragon on it right there. But, ladies and gentlemen, that is where your adventure with me ends for today. If you enjoyed this flavor of content, be sure to hit the old red button down there and drop below any other cool challenge run ideas that you would like me to try out on the channel. I had a lot of fun with this one. This was a great mix up, kind of combining kind of what we do with the how to videos and the more let's play style content. This is honestly about as coffee nut as a freaking video can get. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Today we can both rest as victors. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I will catch you on the next one.